In this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to do the first exercise. Now, the first exercise is essentially uh, labeling up um, a spreadsheet. So, in terms of what the features are, so what you need to do is open up Sheets, and then, of course, go back to your email and open up um, Slides, in this case. Right, so, Slides here. Right, so I've got sheets open and I just want to pick a blank sheet and you've just watched the video hopefully of um, spreadsheet layout and features so the idea will be that you will take a screenshot of this spreadsheet and then just label up all the different features okay so how do I take a screenshot well to take a screenshot it depends on what computer that you're using if you're using a Windows computer so you've got Microsoft Windows and that probably be Microsoft Windows 10, then you need to press print screen. There's one button on the keyboard and that's print screen and you press that once and that takes a screenshot and then what you can do is paste it into um, a Google slide. Okay. Now you're on a probably on a Spanish keyboard. So on a Spanish keyboard the button is called Imprimir Pantalla, but it's just shortened to Impre Pan or Pan P A N T. Okay, so that's in Premier Pantaya. Now, on a MacBook, if you're doing this on an Apple computer, you have to do um, Command, Shift, and 3. So I'm going to do that now, and I'll show you how this works. Right? So I'm going to go to Google Docs, make a new, sorry, Google Slides, and make a new slide, first of all. Um, so there's a new slide, come straight up. And in my spreadsheet then, what I want to do is take a screenshot of this. So I'm just going to take a screenshot doing Command, Shift and 3. And then that comes up down here. I'm just going to drag that and put it on. Now I've got two screens. So one of these I want to actually get rid of. And there's the other one here. Okay, so I'm just going to drop that in. Close this themes off. I can just leave it on the basic one. And just leave it like this. Okay, now you can resize it if you wish a little bit. It's not that much of a problem, just leaving it sort of more or less so that it's centered. And there it is on my screen. Okay, so that was from your Google Sheet, in Premier Pantalla, print screen, or Command, Shift, and 3. And what you do is you get a screenshot. Now, the other thing on a Mac, I'm on the latest version of the operating system, so the screenshot came up down here. But you would see it on your backdrop. It would come up here if you're on an older version of um, the OS, of the operating system for Apple. Okay. So now I've got my screenshot. What I want to do is label this up. Okay. And start labeling it. So what you can do here is you can insert shapes, and you can see you can insert callouts, and you can pick uh, rectangular ones or slightly rounded ones. So what I'm going to do is just draw one here, and the first one I'm going to do. Just label up and then type in here formula bar. Okay, so that's an example of one. Now, instead of going to insert and doing all that again, you can just do Control and C and Control V to copy it. Okay, so I'm just going to then label up, label up another one and just say columns. Example, label up another one. Copy that, put it over here, space them out a little bit, of course. And here I put rows. Okay, I'll do the some of the ones down at the bottom. Label up there, new sheet. And then, of course, I'm going to label up some of these things in the menu for example what the functions are where the functions are these things that are the um, font type font size bold the styles all of those are styles alignment over here font color uh, cell color and things like that I would also probably want to label up one that says a cell name for example so if I just point to this one what cell is that? Well, that cell is F5. Okay, so cell F5 as an example.
Okay, so this is how you do it. Once you've finished, you can see that it's already saved. It um, says all changes um, saved in Drive. Now, of course, I want to do this as um, uh, put it in a different folder. Okay, so I'm going to give it a name first. This is how we save and put it in the right folder. Okay, so I'm just going to call it screenshots and put my name after it because I'm going to be um, sending this to my teacher, which is me. <laughs> um, so in the My Drive folder, I'm going to click on that. And instead of just saving it into My Drive, I'm going to go into the Computing folder, which I've already got set up, and just move it into there. Okay. Right, so that's uh, that first exercise. Now, once you've finished doing that, of course, what you would then need to do is go back to your apps, go to the Google Classroom, and you find the first exercise or task that you have to do for me. And I've got, I will have that come up here within your class, and you just need to submit that work, send it to me. Okay.